welcome to Science for Schools. In this episode, we're going to show that starch is made during photosynthesis. For this, we're going to need a plant, we're going to need some iodine, we need a couple of test tubes, we need some alcohol, uh, I have uh, tweezers here, scissors, uh, water boiling, and most importantly guys, you need your goggles on, because you need your eyes to see the results. Now, first thing I'm going to do is explain the preparation that's gone into the plant. So, I've put this plant in, the dark, in a dark room for two days. What that does is that removes all the starch from the leaves. I then took it out and covered a couple of the leaves with tin foil. When the leaves are covered, they don't get any light, so they'll stay de-starched. The rest of the plant was then exposed to the sunlight and allowed to photosynthesize. So then, there should be starch present in these leaves that we're photosynthesizing. So I'm going to take a sample leaf, one that was in the dark, and one that was allowed to photosynthesize. I won't take the whole leaf, I'll just take a piece of each. So this is the photosynthesizing leaf. And this is the non photosynthesizing leaf. Okay, so you can see there the bigger one is the photosynthesizing leaf, the smaller one is the non photosynthesizing leaf. Now, the first step you need to boil the two of these in boiling water for about two minutes. What this does is it kills the leaves. Okay, so the leaves in here are now well and truly dead. So I'm going to take them off the heat. We don't need boiling water anymore. Let's leave it there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the leaves. I'm going to place them, one each, in a test tube. Now to each test tube, I'm going to add some alcohol. Now what the alcohol is going to do, it's going to remove all the chlorophyll from the leaves. Now I need to put the alcohol into some hot water. So I'll put it into this hot water now. We don't want it at 100 degrees because as we know alcohol boils at a much lower temperature than water. So I'm just going to add a little bit of cold water. Now I'm going to leave the test tubes in this hot water for about 10 minutes and you'll see that all the chlorophyll will be removed from the leaves. Right, so our leaf samples have been sitting in the alcohol for about 10 minutes and you can see that the alcohol has now turned a green colour. That shows all the chlorophyll from the leaves has been removed and it's now in the, dissolved in the alcohol. Now, so I'm going to get my leaves. And the next step is to place them back in the hot water because at the moment they're very brittle and this just softens them up a little bit. So they only need to go in for a few seconds. And we can take them out. And we can dry them off.
Now you can see clearly our two leaf samples have turned pure white, all the chlorophyll is now removed from the leaves. So the big sample was the photosynthesizing leaf, the small sample was the non-photosynthesizing leaf. So we're going to test these now with iodine. Iodine, as we know, shows the presence of starch. So a few drops on each should do the job. Now we have some great results here. So you can see clearly the photosynthesizing leaf has gone dark black colour with iodine. That shows the presence of starch. The non photosynthesizing leaf has stayed iodine colour and that shows that there is no starch present. That's the end of that experiment guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something and I'll see you next episode.